Hey guys, today I'm going to film my shoe declutter video and I'm going to start my wardrobe decluttering process now. So, you, as you know, I've been putting off doing my wardrobe because my clothes are like very precious to me and I have a lot of them. It's like the one area of my house that I've not begun the decluttering process really. I've got rid of some, I'd say I've got rid of about 20% of my clothes. Um, just like really really old stuff that I never wore um, but today we're going to get started on my shoe collection and I want to get rid of a few pairs because I certainly don't need as many as I have and also please just excuse the incredibly messy room I'm having a mess sort out today and obviously I'm decluttering so it's just I've got stuff everywhere so I think what I'm going to do is just get out every single pair of shoe I own and we'll get started. I'm ashamed to say that this is every single pair of shoes that I own. Absolutely ridiculous amount. That's why I find like doing my wardrobe and my clothes and shoes and everything quite difficult because I genuinely do wear most of this stuff. The things that I don't wear so much are I will just go ahead and get rid of. Hopefully we can at least get rid of a few pairs. Right, let's try and get these organised a bit better. I'm going to put all the trainers together, all of my work shoes together, and the boots. So I think what the best thing to do would be to grab the ones that I know I definitely want to keep. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep these, this pair of burgundy boots. I asked for these last Christmas um, and I was very lucky to receive them for Christmas. So obviously due to lockdown I've not even had a chance to wear them because we've not been going anywhere. So I'm going to put those over there then I definitely need to keep my trainers these are the ones I go for walks in and I'll sometimes wear them on a weekend like with jeans and stuff as well definitely want to keep those they're so comfortable and then I need to keep my tennis trainers because they're the only ones I can wear for those um, then I've got my running trainers here which aren't the best to be honest but they were so expensive that I can't get rid of them basically I think they're from the brand A6 um, but they were like £100 and they don't fit the best but I'm going to make sure I get my money's worth out of them basically so I am going to keep those so obviously I've already kept three trainers but they all serve very different purposes so that would be why and then I definitely want to keep these green boots which I got for Christmas as well I definitely have way too many boots so that's going to be an area I have to tackle I also definitely want to keep my ducks my duck martins because I wear those all the time right now I've got the sort of staples out of the way I can see a few that I'm probably gonna get rid of so these boots here I love the look of them they're like very witchy and they're like patent plasticky sort of kitten heel boots. Uh, I love them. I think they're really like 90s but they're incredibly uncomfortable. Um, as you can see they're very very pointy toe which is not the comfiest especially when you have like wide feet. So I think I'm going to put the sort of ones to give away over here. Then I have two pairs here of over the knee boots, which is ridiculous. Um, I bought one pair and then they literally just kept falling down. Um, I find that I struggle with that a lot with boots, like um, knee high boots, they just tend to fall down. I've got like really skinny legs <laughs> compared to like the rest of my body. So I think 
I'm going to try on both pairs and see which ones stay up the most. So I've just tried them on and this one here, this pair here, are the ones that do not stay up. So they can go over here. I've got two pairs of boots here, both from New Look, like probably six years ago. And I bought the brown ones first and then I bought the black ones afterwards because the brown ones are so comfortable and I love them. But I would definitely say I wear the brown ones more and I've got plenty of black boots so I think I'm going to get rid of that pair as well. Right, I'm definitely going to have to keep my Timberlands because they were very expensive. I've had these for, again, about six years. And I don't wear them too often because they are so big, but I do wear them on like very wintry days when I go for walks and stuff. And when you live in the countryside, you do need a good pair of sturdy um, walking boots. So I'll keep those. Now I'm looking at the rest. I'm pretty happy. Um, these four pairs of loafers, I know it seems really excessive, but I literally live in these. They're so comfortable. I think because I'm working from home at the moment, I'll, obviously I'm not reaching for them. But I know for a fact that when I go back into work, I will need them. So I'm going to keep them, I think. And then I have my four, my three pairs of sort of going out shoes over here. These are like little cool cut out black heels that I just wear when I'm sort of going for a bit of a grungier look and then these are my only pair of heels like nude heels so they're for like very special occasions I wear those I wore those on my graduation day and I've worn them to weddings and stuff and then these are just little um slider sort of sandals very sort of easy to wear in the summer and I wore those in Budapest when I got engaged, so they're quite sentimental to me. And I do want to see if I'll wear them this summer, so I think I'm going to keep those as well. Definitely don't need any more trainers, that's for sure. These uh, I got for Christmas, but as a surprise, so I didn't actually know I was going to get them. So they're obviously brand new, and I definitely want to keep them. And then I literally live in Converse as well, so... If I was going to pick any to get rid of it, it would be one of these two shoes. But I literally love them both. Got my Adidas Dan Smiths on the right there, cream ones. And then these cool iridescent Nike ones, which I love as well. So the only other shoe that might go is this black pair of boots, which are like really high. I say really high. These are probably not that high to most of you, but I'm like five, ten and a half, so... I'm like six one in these <laughs> um, and I think I've literally only wear them once which is kind of a waste isn't it but I just think I've got like I've already got my um, docks over there um, and I've got the green boots as well so I really don't think I need these oh god what do I do No, I'm going to get rid of them. They're going. There's no point. I've got too many. So all I've gotten rid of so far is four pairs of black boots. <laughs> Please tell me to never buy any black boots again. I feel like I still have way too many shoes. I think I have 20, 24 pairs. Which is excessive but the thing is I don't want to be wasteful I know I've said this before but like I don't want to just get rid of stuff for the sake of it I'm looking around at the ones I have left and I definitely know that I love them and I wear them I think what I'm going to do is because obviously I've only got rid of like four pairs so I think what I'm going to do is give myself till the end of the year to really look at what I've got and see what I actually wear by the end of the year. Obviously I'm hoping that lockdown will be 
over and we can actually go out and do things then that means I'll have the opportunity to wear these shoes and I will have a much better idea by the end of the year what I actually want to get rid of if I want to get rid of anything more at all so I hope you enjoyed this video sorry it wasn't like a very satisfying massive purge but so I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did then give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video